I want to talk about something that's been fascinating me in my years of relationship coaching. You might think those couples who stay together forever have some magical connection or they're just lucky. But I'm about to show you the real, research-backed reasons why some relationships last while others fall apart. What I'm sharing today isn't based on wishful thinking. I've analyzed hundreds of successful relationships, worked with countless couples, and studied the latest relationship research. These insights will transform how you view long-term relationships. Before we dive into these powerful strategies, take a moment to visit relationshipreboot.tv. I've created an in-depth guide that complements everything we're covering today. The Science of Unbreakable Bonds Let me start with something that might surprise you. Research shows that only 8% of couples maintain long-term satisfaction in their relationships. That's right, just 8%. But here's what's interesting. These couples aren't special or naturally gifted at relationships. They simply understand and practice specific patterns that keep their connection strong. You might be wondering, what exactly are these couples doing differently? Well, the first thing you need to understand is that these couples actually do fight. The difference is in how they handle their conflicts. Dr. John Gottman's research found that successful couples don't avoid disagreements. They've mastered the art of productive conflict. Think about this. If you believe that never fighting means you have a healthy relationship, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. These successful couples understand that conflict is normal. The key is learning to navigate it effectively. Four Core Habits of Lasting Couples Now, let me break down the four specific habits that set these couples apart. First, there's what researchers call the 5.1 ratio. For every negative interaction, stable couples have five positive ones. This isn't about keeping score. It's about consistently showing appreciation and affection. When your partner makes breakfast, don't just eat and run. Take a moment to express genuine gratitude. Second, these couples have mastered the art of productive disagreement. Instead of saying, you never help around the house, they say, I feel overwhelmed with household responsibilities. Can we figure out a better system together? Notice the difference? One approach creates defensiveness, while the other invites collaboration. Third, Successful couples maintain their independence. They understand that being in love doesn't mean being joined at the hip. Each partner has their own interests, friends, and activities. This independence actually strengthens their bond because they bring fresh energy and experiences to the relationship. Fourth, and this is crucial, they practice daily connection rituals. This could be as simple as a six-second kiss when saying goodbye or a ten-minute check-in before bed. These small moments of connection add up to create a strong foundation. The Hidden Psychology Understanding your attachment style is like having a relationship roadmap. If you find yourself constantly worried about your partner leaving, or if you tend to push people away when they get too close, that's your attachment style at work. Many couples naturally stay together because they've unconsciously figured out how to work with their attachment styles. But you don't need to leave this to chance. By understanding your attachment patterns, you can consciously create security in your relationship. Emotional intelligence plays a massive role here. Couples who last know how to recognize their own emotional triggers, understand their partner's emotional needs, communicate their feelings effectively, stay calm during difficult conversations. Implementation Strategy Let's make this practical. Here's your weekly relationship maintenance plan. Schedule a 20-minute check-in every Sunday. During this time, share one thing you appreciated about each other this week. Discuss any concerns before they become problems. Plan one, connecting activity for the upcoming week. Express one hope or goal you have for your relationship. Try these three conversation starters to deepen your connection. What made you feel most loved this week? What's one thing I could do to make you feel more supported? What's something you're looking forward to in our future together? Now let's talk about your relationship's unique advantages. Every couple has them, but most don't consciously leverage them. 
Maybe you both share a great sense of humor or you're excellent at planning together. Identify these strengths and intentionally use them to strengthen your bond. Creating your blueprint. Take everything we've covered and create your personalized relationship resilience blueprint. Start with daily connection rituals that work for your schedule, weekly check-ins that fit your communication style, monthly relationship review and goal setting, quarterly adventure or new experience together. Remember, lasting relationships aren't built on grand gestures or perfect compatibility. They're built on daily choices, consistent effort, and the willingness to grow together. If you found value in these strategies, you'll want to take my comprehensive relationship assessment at relationshipreboot.tv. This assessment will help you identify your specific relationship patterns and create a customized plan for lasting connection. Subscribe to this channel for more relationship insights and hit the like button if you found this helpful. In my next video, I'll be diving deeper into specific communication techniques that can transform your relationship. Thank you for watching. And remember, building a lasting relationship isn't about finding the right person. It's about being the right partner and making conscious choices every day.